Yo, what's good, YouTube? Hey, Jay here. So today was the Nintendo Direct, and a lot of games was announced today. Some of which were, you know, pretty much like the same old, same old. But there's actually some good ones that were just like shown off in the trailer, showing a little, um, a little gameplay, and also was announced. So I'm not gonna react to the whole thing. I'm actually just gonna react to some of the ones that you know. In interest, some of the ones I'm interested in. So, like the RPGs they announced, pretty much the same thing. But, like, for example, right now, we're gonna go ahead and check out this Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Now, this direct was during my while I was at work, so I didn't get to see like the trailers or anything like that. But, you know, the tweets came in because I forgot to turn my notifications off. But I kind of got a little spoiled, but I didn't see the trailer. So, we're going to go ahead and get started with the trailer right now. Like always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right to it. The toys are back in town. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Mario. Here we go. The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. <laughs> oh, yeah. With his eyes on the prize... My boy DK Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. And it's up to Mario to track him down. Now look at the HD though. In each stage, contraptions and other challenges await. Observation and action are vital to your success. Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross the gap. Hmm. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't it? If Mario I was just about this, to say, the tail. I didn't play the one on Game Boy Advance. I've only played the DS ones. And safely well, grab DS the key. and 3DS, though. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip. Like that. He's Mario just... My God, man. You know, he's the king of all that. To collect mini Mario's, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. In this updated version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co op. I'll say less. However, you choose to puzzle your way through, it's up to you to recover the toys. Mario vs. Donkey Kong oh, yeah. launches on Nintendo Switch February 16th. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pre orders begin today. Mario vs. Donkey Kong. So, right away, like I said, I never played this version back on the Game Boy. But, though, no. I actually only played March of the Minis for the DS, which was actually one of the three DS games I got when I got the DS. And I played, I think the, I think the one on 3DS was called Miniland Mayhem. I think that's what's the other one. That was the one where you can kind of like make the paths and all like that. I, I think that was the one. But I haven't played that one in like freaking... <laughs> like... How long have I played it? It's got to be more than 10 years. My God. But I am excited for Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I always loved the Mario vs. Donkey Kong games. I never mentioned it. But I am excited. And at least I get to experience the first one. Just, you know, for fun and all. So February 16th, 2024, yeah, a couple of games they said are coming out for uh, in 2024, so it's going to be quite a good one. I also just realized another thing. I wonder if they, there was two, I realized there's two other things they forgot to mention. No, wait, wait, wait. I realized something, if they announced this, there was no tweet about it, so I might have to look through Actually, nah, never mind. Let's cut that. Alright, so... Alright, the next one they announced is Super Mario RPG. We already was announced this way before, way back in the last direct. So, let's see what this one's showing right here. Again, I'm excited to play this one too. Mario's first RPG adventure returns. <clears throat> the Super Mario RPG game is back with updated graphics. Let's go over some new and returning gameplay features. Oh, man. Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. When you time your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. 
every successful action command will fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three-character triple move. Depending on your current party, the Gino, move will change. Man. So experiment with different combos. I never experienced RPG back then, so this will be a first time. And during I your adventure, wait. you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. But these powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna be raging a lot. <laughs> I'm calling it. Set up for adventure with Mario and Friends when Super Mario RPG launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 17th. Pre orders are available now. Like I like I said, this will be my first time experiencing it. So I am looking forward to it. And we're just two, well, about be two months away from when it releases. And of course, I'm getting the physical copy. Right, like seriously, man. Super Mario RPG was a really good game and it still is to this day, though. You don't really see many people play it now, but now with this coming for the Switch, we're gonna see a lot of that. This was like probably one of the best recommended. So I was recommended back in like, 2009 and 10's YouTube era because I actually would watch a couple videos though I don't think this user who used to have Super Mario RPG the whole playthrough I don't think he's he I think he deleted them which sucks but you know what there's some other ones out there so I can still check them out all right the next one really surprised me because crazy enough a day before I saw a tease saying that Princess Peach game is supposed to be is gonna be announced. And look at this. Princess Princess Peach Showtime. So since so it's been more than like I guess I could say twenty no, not it's been twenty years. It's almost been twenty years though since Super Princess Peach. A lot of you I know many people remember that game, but I remember because I used to have the game. And it's crazy enough, I never completed it. I was stuck on the fight with King Boo. Man, I would like to play it again just so I can try to freaking beat the boss, though. But that was a classic game. Anyway, let's check out the trailer for Princess Peach Showtime. <laughs> yeah, another day in the Mushroom Kingdom. I always thought One like day, that. a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it. But then, the Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Now, it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Okay, this looking just like Paper Mario. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Sour Bunch. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. Okay. Whoa, Peach transformed oh, into Sword Fighter Peach. Sword Fighter By Peach. By transforming, she can use fantastic show-stopping abilities. Fend off the Sour Bunch with sensational sword play. Calling it, that's going to be a mod costume in Smash. Can Peach save this performance and its performers? There are more stolen shows to save. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become Detective, Detective Peach. Peach. Yo. Investigate clues and track down who done it. Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Turn into patissier Peach and Chef save it from Peach. a sugar Yo. crash. She's getting all this from Mario Odyssey. Got their hands on this martial arts school. Become Kung Fu Peach and take it Ooh, back from these oh. foul thieves. Look at her. And you got the funky tail braid in the back. Go ahead, girl. The other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. Princess Peach Showtime makes its debut on Nintendo Switch March 22nd. 
pre-orders begin to Okay, there's almost a lot to say about this. <sighs> like I said, it's been years since Peach had her own game. And that was Super Princess Peach for the Nintendo DS. But this right here is a real big improvement. I did, not <laughs> I did not expect Sword Fighter Peach, man. Now it's getting serious. But then, as many people who can't stand Peach getting kidnapped so many times, we would always say she wants to act this way, but she can't act this way when she gets kidnapped. <sighs> that's, on, that's Mario. That's Mario games for you in a nutshell right there. But I'm excited, though. The background is giving me some Paper Mario vibes right there. But yeah, Sword Fighter Peach, then we get Chef Peach, then we get Detective Peach, and then we get Kung Fu Peach. Kung Fu Peach may be my favorite out of them. Well, not just because I'm a fan of Kung Fu, I would say, but the way she looks and how she's just using her hands for Kung Fu moves. Ooh, she's just gonna go crazy. Oh man. But yeah, this is coming out of spring of 2024. That's I would say that's quite a long way away, but time is flying quick, though. We're almost near to when Super Mario Bros. Wonder comes out. But Princess Peach so time, like I said, I'm look, I'm excited for it. Looking forward to it. Alright, got more news on Detective Pikachu Returns, so let's check it out. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. Hey, wait. Every great detective starts their day early. This is Rhyme City, a place Pikachu, where humans man. and Pokemon coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu and his partner Tim investigate various cases while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. Tim interviews people. Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. And you see Sword and Shield's Pokemon. They'll also cool. rely on other Pokemon and to tag. broaden the scope of They're their awesome. investigations. Growlithe. Follow sense with I see Growlithe. Lily Pup in the background. Smash rocks with Darmanitan. No, not Lowland and Darmanitan. Darmanitan. And Darmanitan. peer through walls with Luxray. Luxray. Yes. They Can took Luxray special, the well, not ability. But one of the good things about Luxray is its eyes. It has like that whole night Find vision out when type Detective of Pikachu thing. Pikachu returns. Launches on Nintendo Switch. All right. Like I'm trying to say, um, if you guys know, for like most cat-like animals, like tigers and all, they got like special glows in their eyes so they can see very well in the dark. But Luxray has like that where it can actually see not only in the dark but probably through walls. I think that was one of the Pokedex entries. I don't think it was in Diamond and Pearl's entry. It was in one of the entries, but that's a good touch they show they're adding that though right there. So like I said, first time playing Detective Pikachu. Looking forward to it. October 6th. Oh yeah. Alright, next we have this Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. I, I literally forgot about this being announced. So let's check out this. Let's check it out. Mansion 2 HD. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. Time for some mansion mayhem. Mm. I swear the game's giving me freaking shivers. Your spooky adventure is complete <laughs> without this vacuum like device, the Poltergust. Yes. Use it to light up dark areas, vacuum up objects, and interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! You can yep. stun them with the strobe ball, then vacuum them up. You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting, a former plant research lab, a broken down clock factory that's full of sand, a mine covered in ice and snow, and
find even more places. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage oh God, and save fine. the day? Holy shit. Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different multiplayer modes. See, the whole multiplayer they're bringing Luigi's now? Mansion 2 HD. It's really fun. to Nintendo Switch next summer. Ah, oh, come on. It should have really... Okay, I can understand that it's still in development, but it would have been perfect for Halloween next month. Well, I, at least I got time to finish Luigi's, uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Well, uh, Louis I still haven't finished that freaking game on the Switch, though. I still have not finished it. Though, so, well, I have time, though. I'll probably do a Halloween special during that. Okay, here's the one news that I would say I got excited for. But then again, by the thumbnail, I feel it's not going to be what we expect. We finally get F-Zero news. And out of the whole time, all, P all gamers been asking for freaking a new F-Zero game though. It's been like 2004 or 6 since the since there was a recent, since there was a last F-Zero game. Like, what are you doing Nintendo? Well, let's check out F-Zero 99 though. Classic, that should have been uh, Nintendo Switch Online though. Turns as a oh my god, it is a freaking 99 player. Come on. I mean, we're still playing the original, but it would have been better if it was an actual new game. Well, personally, it still looks good, though. It still looks good, but then again, I am a bit disappointed it's still more than F-Zero game. I never even played an F Zero game before. I, well, besides playing the 64 on Switch Online. Right? But still, though. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide, to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. It's your best chance at bypassing your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Okay, that's actually pretty cool, though. Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your machine. No. Yeah, I know, of course, Falcon through Falcon and Samurai Girls fight Steam Race. Players, yeah. One winner. It's time to race your way to Wait, first place. Wait, it's only four vehicles because that's in the Because F-099 right? will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch Online members later today. A free download? Okay. Okay, some gameplay is going to be coming, of course. Go ahead and give it a try. Only time I ever played this F-Zero was like for a minute in Smash Bros. Brawl's Masterpieces where they have some old uh, retro games where you can play for like a couple of seconds or a minute but like I said this looks good but at the same time I was I was just like one of the people who wish they make an F-Zero game I never played an X, I never played an F-Zero game before like fully like back then I mean like it was not till they brought F-Zero X for 64 Switch Online that I finally play it but it would have been good if they made an F-Zero game after like so long. That was the big surprise I was hoping. I mean, the thumbnail kind of made me think, of course, something like this. And <sighs> yeah, but you know what? I'll still give it a try. I'll still play it. But yeah, I'll definitely do gameplay of it. Gotta make sure I not forget to download this. So, but yeah, sorry F-Zero fans. All right, Warrior Bear, move it. Now wait, what? The, no, this gotta be. What is it now? Man, I lost track on the Warrior Bear move games though. I can't tell if this was the one that was made for Switch a couple like a year ago, or is this something new? <sighs> Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's move into formation. Play with these chumps doesn't feel like a prize. Ah! Welcome to the island. 
This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. <laughs> In each micro game, you get into a specific pose called a form. <laughs> Copy the form shown, then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand up. The micro games will come one after another, so look alive. Okay, I'm actually digging that. Okay. Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Obviously, obviously. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Three. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes aplenty. Everyone's in for a wacky time. WarioWare Move It launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. Pre-orders are available now on Okay. Okay, so it's pretty much the typical WarioWare game. Uh, I wouldn't want to say I'm not interested because it's pretty much just the same thing. But then at the same time, the whole motion controls where you're actually doing the poses yourself. <sighs> Exactly like I like that though. Like it's not bad though, so I'm interested in it. I'll do gameplay that day. So coming out November third, twenty twenty-three. And also I said gameplay that day. I highly doubt I'll get the game that day. I hope I do. But I'll give it a try. It looks, you know, interesting. But that's pretty much Warrior Bear games. It's always just, you know, you doing stuff like do this. Also do that later. Also do this, you know, watch this, do this, do that, like. That's one of the good things about the Warrior Bear games, though. And I remember I did only do one gameplay for one of the Warrior Bear games on, I think it was the Game Boy Advance. So, for this, I might do another gameplay, though. So, we got for that coming soon. Okay. News for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, I did not see who could have been announced, but... My two, I never even mentioned, like, I never even posted the video, I promise, on who I would wish to come back. But my highest vote right now is Funky Kong. You guys don't know, I not only love Donkey Kong a lot, but I love Funky Kong. That was who my first username was based off of. Funky Hammer Bro. Based off of Funky Kong. I was a fan of him back in Mario Super Sluggers and freaking Mario Kart Wii especially. So, if they announce him in Kari Deluxe... Please. And also, I didn't see the thumbnail, so I'm not sure if he is or not. I also hope Pauline is announced, because Pauline is getting lots of love now. I mean, she's in Kartor. She was in Mario Strikers Battle League. Like, she's getting much more reputation, though. So, if they bring her, cool. I also feel they should also bring Diddy Kong back, because, I mean, you brought Bowser Jr. back. I bring Diddy Kong back, though. Why not? So, those are my three choices. So, let's go and see the news on the returning courses and the upcoming characters. The final wave is racing in. Here's a sneak peek at wave six. The final wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass Wait, that DLC Daisy Circuit? from the Mario Kart Wii game. Yeah, it was Daisy, Daisy Circuit. Circuit. More it got me confused for a quick second. Okay, awesome. Diddy Kong, yes! Yes, Jimmy my boy Kong Kong is back. From yeah, Kong. 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 Yes! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Pauline! Yo! Yo, I just called it. Those are the... Monkey Kong is my highest vote, and, and then I said Diddy too. And Pauline. And now Peach Jet's even coming too? Holy shit. Wave six of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives on to Nintendo Switch this holiday. Oh my god. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this deal. Oh my god. Wait, 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 yo. That was a lot. So we see Daisy Circuits coming back, which is awesome. I love the course Daisy Circuit. Really great course. But I literally just said I hope it's Funky Kong, or at least probably Diddy and Pauline. It's like I called it. And no, I did not, like I said, I did not watch no spoilers. I only just seen just like tweets saying the games. 
not about like no characters or nothing. But man, thank God my boy Funky is back, man. Funky Kong was my main back in Mario Kart Wii, so it's about to get wild. It is about to get wild. And Diddy's coming back, which is great. The last kart game Diddy, not counting Kart Tour, the last, was it Mario Kart Wii? Yeah, I think it was Kart Wii the last time Diddy was, you know, last playable. I mean, like his show, he was first released, he, first, he first came in Kart Double Dash, though, which I remember being Donkey Kong's partner. And, yeah, and Funky Kong first came in Mario Kart Wii, and Pauline, of course, in uh, Mario Kart Tour. So, they know, so thank goodness, man. <sighs> My God, yo. I I'm especially excited for Funky Kong and Diddy now. And with Pauline coming, she's front, she's being no, she's getting reputation though right there. So, I am looking forward to it. Now, there's supposed to be more stuff coming for the holiday, so we'll see what the, um, what the boards return, uh, boards, what the courses return or any like new ones. Alright. Okay, this is gonna be the last one I'm gonna check out actually. Because the last one they posted was Splatoon 3, which I would say I'm interested slash not interested, especially because I still don't have the Splatoon game and I gotta try to get online with Splatoon though. Because I never played at least once online. But anyway, we got Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. A lot of people definitely know this game. I've, I've seen a few playthroughs of it. In Paper Mario series, the Big Mario games are really, really fun. The only one I have played, actually, was for the 3DS. I forgot what that one was called. I think it was called Sticker Star or something like that. But, anyway, let's go ahead and check out this trailer. Mario That means you must come. Average Princess Peach. Goombella. Look at the size scrolling though, especially with these graphics. My god. And I know he did not just squeeze through there. And he didn't just throw a paper airplane? What? Oh my god. Also, who is. I'm not even gonna ask about who that lady was. <laughs> Giant Booper. Ooh. Stampede. Alright, there he is. Bowser. Ooh. <laughs> She's fake. That's a fake picture. I know, I know Goomba did not just kiss Mario. <laughs> oh my god. What was yo what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that caught me off guard right there. There though. But like I said, okay, so one thing is thing is I do love Paper Mario. It's sad that I don't know about the whole Paper Mario series that well. So 
I should get into it. I know there was one made for 3DS. So I definitely will get... Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm going to get it, though. Because I said I was going to get it. Definitely going to get it. But, yeah, this was definitely a good trailer right here. And I'm looking forward to any more news they're going to announce about this, though. So, that's what's up. Now, I know this is the last one. But there's actually, I think there's supposed to be one more thing. This, wait, actually. No, I think that should be good, though. I know I would watch the whole thing, but... I would rewatch after I edit it. If I see anything that I missed, I will post um, a community post about it or a tweet, give my thoughts about it. But that's gonna be about it. This was the not the full reaction, but just reacting to some of the upcoming games and news for some of the Nintendo Switch games. This was a reaction to the Nintendo Direct. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, don't forget to comment and subscribe. You can check out more reactions to Nintendo and other gaming related trailers and stuff right in the playlist in the description but yeah let me know your thoughts on the nintendo direct what game you're looking forward to what's your thoughts about some of the news like for mark Kart 8 deluxe and everything like that but until then i'll see you guys in my next video peace out take care and have an awesome day stay safe